All right, so what's the purpose of this one? All right, so one is I've kind of injured my knee, right? Uh, and having some traction on that on the tibia feels good. So it kind of helps my knee feel a bit better because um, I feel like I cracked that, that tibia and the femur into each other over here on the medial side. So um, a little bit of traction feels good. But more specifically, what I'm trying to do is just a little bit of quad work right now. So at the moment, I lack terminal extension, meaning I can't lock out the leg. So hitting quad development's a little bit, a little bit difficult. Well, one of the things I can do is by setting the band where I am, the band wants to pull my leg and bend my knee. So I have to get leg extension to be able to resist that band, right? So it, it gives me a little bit of stimulation to the quad. And as you guys have heard me say more than once and on a number of different occasions, a little bit of something is better than a whole lot of nothing, right? So just because I can't sit and do some leg extensions or more, more uh, stereotypical like leg work, doesn't mean I can't do anything. And so I'm staying with something that isn't super taxing and I'm trying to stay in a, um, in a, in a range of motion that's tolerable. So nothing I'm doing right now is causing pain. And I'm just kind of working the, the leg working that, that extension, working that quad, and just kind of flushing some blood. And this is good because it's just a little bit of movement, a little bit of stimulation within a range of motion that's tolerable and outside of pain. So I can do it like this. I can do it with the other leg. I can also kind of turn and do it like this. You kind of push that knee forward. And again, it just pull, that pulls traction on the on the reverse right so it's kind of pulling my tibia to the posterior and i can just kind of force that knee forward right so again it's just get some range of motion a little bit of movement right under light resistance it's just something that i kind of come up with for for here at the house as a small workaround for the limitations that i have right now until i can feel more normal and get back to the types of things and the normal stuff that i would i would be doing so um, always just want to encourage you guys to continue to think outside the box and try to ch try to change change up your routine, challenge yourself, challenge um, you know what you're being told. A lot of times, you know, I know doctors, you know, listen to your doctors, but many times doctors have the best of intentions, but sometimes their advice um, is maybe antipodal to kind of what um, what you think is best for yourself. Um, so I always encourage people to. To question, to challenge. I'm not telling you to disobey your your doctor's advice or anything like that. Um, but you know, do for you what you know to be right. And right now, um, I don't think that my doctors would argue with what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. You know, I'm safe. I'm under control. Limited range of motion, and all that stuff, right? So while I guess from an outside perspective, it may look like I'm really pushing the envelope, um, and maybe to some people I would be, um, but. You don't, you know, you're not going to get, you know, get to your goals just by kind of resting on your laurels and waiting for things to get better. Sometimes you have to, it's active recovery. It's active rehabilitation, right? It's not, it's not going to come to you just sitting on the couch feeling sorry for yourself. You got to kind of pursue your own rehabilitation. You got to pursue your own, uh, your own corrections. So that's just kind of what I'm doing here. Anyway, I hope that it's not too much of a rant, but just another little thing that I'm doing, uh, try to, you know, make myself better in the wake of my injury. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make this a video unto itself. So um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. I appreciate you guys always supporting me with the channel, with the likes, the shares, the subs, all that stuff means a lot. The Grown Through Self Destruction uh, t-shirts are back up on the, on the website. The link will be in the description box below. Um, they're only gonna be up for a limited time until August 11th. So uh, pop over there, check them out. If it's a design that you like, well, won't you consider picking up a shirt or two? Um, and yeah, guys, remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, continue to push the envelope or, you know, be active in your rehabilitation of an injury that you have. You got to get in, train to spite. You're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.